Hey guys, welcome to VR Essentials. Hope you're doing okay. Today, breaking news as Meta are launching a brand new service called Avatars Calling, which I think is a big deal because this is really a step, of course, that is bigger than purely, you know, the Quest or the Quest Pro. It's the fact that Meta are indeed in the metaverse and try to spread their wings, of course, into other areas of the metaverse itself. So potentially more people, I think, this potentially could increase the number of adoption into from non-VR into XR devices. But let's go into the video. And by the way, guys, sorry if it gives you a little bit of a headache when I do the turning and the mic changes as well. There is a new mic on the way by Boya, but more details on this in a future video. You can now use your meta avatar in video calls on Instagram and Messenger. This is, by the way, by TechCrunch. So thank you, Aisha Malik for the lovely article that you wrote. So here you go, here's a picture of the actual avatars themselves. And I will show you a video very, very soon as to what it all looks like. Meta announced today that users can now use their avatars to answer and make video calls on Instagram and Messenger. The company says the new functionality will allow users to take part in video calls in instances where they're not camera ready. The result is an animated video call where you and your friends are looking to talk to each other without actually seeing one another. Now, of course, this could have applications for everyone, you know, introverts, those who don't really feel you know, comfortable, be, comfortable, excuse me, being on call as well as what they just said, people who are halfway, you know, work clothes and the other half is, are you wearing something? Or their pajamas, right? And, you know, all these kind of things, or maybe someone, you know, forgot to put some makeup on or didn't have time or whatever, you know, then of course it can really, um, you know, replace that. But because animation is very, as DreamWorks and Pixar and LucasArts and Disney have shown, you know, animation is really of course very emotive and especially today with these kind of technologies if i just go to this video here by video trailer and clips you can see that the MetaQuest pro has a sensor inside where if you talk to people basically what happens is that the emotion of the way you express your face that of course will also come across in a you know virtual reality kind of way or in an animated kind of way in this case instagram of course and the other platforms where you get to use the actual animation now we can't say that this is good for privacy all right guys because at the end of the day there's going to be a sensor in the phone and the phone's going to be able to record that data of all the various data points of your face so of course this data will be transmitted back to meta they'll know what makes you happy what you look at what makes you sad you know those kind of reaction times so they're going to be able to increase that puppet or model that puppet of you in an even more intricate more refined way and really know more about you so potentially that data could be used of course for who for advertising advertisers that they can sell their products to, you know, as we all know it. So take it with a pinch of salt in terms of when they talk about privacy. And also, is it going to be something that will be adopted in Europe? I don't know. I need to look at the article a bit more in depth as to which countries it will be rolled out. Because of course, at the moment, Meta are not allowing certain things like threads and a whole bunch of other things that they might take out of the EU as well, as there's a huge 1 billion US dollar a lawsuit at the moment going on with Meta. So, you know, again, take it with a pinch of salt in terms of what they mean by privacy and allowing people to go on camera using this technology, which scans your entire face. And so that in case you're not ready or you're an introvert or you just don't want to be on camera, but yet still want to express motion, emotion in a way that is more cartoony, of course, and more animated. But let's go back to the actual uh, article. So we've all been there. Uh, a call comes in in uh, but your hair looks like a hot mess meta wrote in a blog post um or you've just been bawling your eyes out while you're re-watching from scratch sometimes we're just not camera ready wouldn't it be great if there were a third person option between camera off and camera on let you feel a little bit more present on the call cue the meta avatar so it seems that they're really going for you know this kind of thing here i mean if if you're reading is we're not camera ready which i think is is that really the selling point to hide the fact that they will be able to take more data points from people? I don't know, this, this sounds weird to me, but guys, there's other technology already, of course, that is available. Uh, one of them by, there we go. So there is, of course, Ready Player Me, which provide avatars that you can upload in various different social networks and also virtual software, where if you have 
meetings with people, then you can use that specific avatar, um, you know, to represent yourself within those different metaverses or virtual environments like Zoom and all these kind of things. And of course, another one that's very popular is also animes, which equally provides the ability to have an avatar from a toilet <laughs> to a cat with sunglasses to a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Florian is called to a bear, you know, a whole bunch of different creative ways as well, where you can basically record yourself or not record yourself. You could be live and basically it will know what kind of emotions to to do as you are talking or the facial features that you have based on the camera that, of course, is looking at you. So it uses your own internal camera to track your basic emotions on your face that you can then use as a virtual camera inside of your actual calls. So, you know, uh, meta avatars is not something new. Of course, they try to roll them out in a 2D kind of way as well on various different social networks that belong to meta. So they're just trying to get it to the next, you know, level where you can use something a bit more 3D, uh, a bit more animated on your actual calls. But, you know, what does that actually mean for Quest? Well, eventually it definitely is going to come back on the metaverse Quest or the Quest Pro because at the moment you can only interact in VR using a uh, avatar if you go like let's say in Rec Room or VR Chat or Neos or even Quest Horizons, right? So it means that basically now you won't necessarily need those third-party apps to go into where you can use your your own personal avatar that you did inside of let's say the Quest 2. Um, you know, in, for example, party chat. So you'll be able to party chat with people using these avatars, which I think, you know, what do you think, guys? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's something useful? Or do you think that it's, it's gimmicky? What do you think of the whole idea of using your avatars to talk to each other in party chats, for example, on the Quest? Let me know. Let us know in the comments below. Let's have that conversation together as potentially it's, oh well, yeah, it's either a big gimmick or it's actually pretty useful for, you know, the better of, of the metaverse of the industry it gives more flavor more color and also you know as i mentioned before for people who like the article is saying not ready then obviously you know they can go inside of of an avatar and not show their real face right so let's just go back to the uh, article very quickly let me just zoom in again so the idea um of real-time calls using your avatar could be welcome addition for people who don't want to show their faces on certain calls okay fine let's see if there's any other news that we actually is actually newsworthy. Uh, you can pick from these options for further personalization. Okay, so you can also use it as GIFs, uh, animated GIFs as well, or GIFs. Meta also announced that you can now share animated avatar stickers uh, or GIFs in Instagram and Facebook stories and reels, Facebook comments and one-one -on message threads on Messenger and Instagram. You can send stickers where your avatar is doing certain actions like waving hello, dancing or slow clapping. Okay, cool. Uh, you can now tag a new friend as well, a few friends, excuse me, to Facebook stories. So you and your friend's avatars can appear in a sticker together. Oh, that's pretty, I mean, again, is it really useful? Leave a comment below, guys. Is this something you want to see, you know, on your Messenger in parties uh, inside of the Quest or your Quest Pro? Let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, Meta says users may start to notice new that VR avatars look a little different than those across its apps, noting that the proportions are more proportional. Okay, uh, no one wants to look like a K pop, and now you don't have to. A uh, company wrote in the blog post, We're standardizing the look of our avatars across all platforms. Okay, so they're basically standardizing them like so. And let me just go to our uh, Twitter very quickly just to show you the actual video. And do go and follow me there, guys. On Twitter at Lazius XR. There's no VR Essentials uh, Twitter at this moment in time, guys, but that is basically how the video looks. Let me just uh, can the music as I don't want to get flagged. But you can see here the lady, so she's been tracked on her phone. She's able to do all types of different emotions, as you can see. I mean, it's got very good face tracking. In fact, she just, if I'm not wrong, she just took, took her tongue out, right? Didn't she? No, she didn't. Okay, but it's pretty pretty close to what she's doing. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically what it looks like in action. And of course, for us who are used to VR and all this kind of stuff, we already know, you know, what's the effect and, and all that. We know it's very cool uh, inside of virtual reality. But the question is, do you think that it's very useful outside of virtual reality? And also, is it something that you want to see in parties on your Quest and your Quest Pro? As before, it was only in the Rift, I believe, right? They have the home in Rift. You're actually able to go into people's homes see their avatars, interact with them in avatars without having to necessarily, excuse me, open another app. So guys, love to give your thoughts. Let's part the conversation. 
comment below. Until next time, hit the notification bell for other VR breaking news stories. And of course, hit the like so we can grow the VR Essentials community. All right, guys, until next time, take it easy. See you very soon. Bye for now.